Ano no my haru mai ite uh, wiki o te reo Māori. Woo woo woo. Boy, well, that took a little bit of effort. Welcome everybody back to the kitchen. Um, tonight we thought that we'd make something really quick. And what are we making? We're making a <laughs> chocolate sauce thing. A chocolate sauce sauce and pudding done in the microwave. So it's really quick. Okay, I've got. S- 60 grams, actually it's probably 50 grams, 50 grams worth of butter in here that I've melted and the recipe, which I'm looking at, calls for a cup of sugar and that's a lot of sugar because really, you know, the chocolate self sauce and pudding, so the sauce has a lot of sugar in it. This is a high sugar recipe, so this is just a treat, right? So um, I put in there probably about two-thirds of cup. Two, Two thirds of a cup, have a look, see? Two thirds of a breakfast cup. Okay, that'll do for now. And all I'm going to do is just give it a mix up. Then I'm going to get the rest of my ingredients together, which is some self raising flour, some cocoa, and some milk. Self raising flour, cocoa, and milk. We might even chuck them in the egg. Yeah. Okay, I know, I was sort of making this as we go along. Anyway, so I've got 50 grams of butter. Um, Two thirds. Two thirds of a cup of, and I've used raw sugar. I had a little bit of caster sugar left, but um, I only had raw, raw caster sugar, but I've only got this much sugar left, so I sort of mixed it all up. So I use the sugar because it makes me feel better about myself. Okay, right. Um, so just give us a few minutes and I'll get everything together and then I'll show you what we need to do next day. Eh? I end up by chucking in a, chucking in an egg, just because I normally chucking an egg with wine. We're sort of going along as we go. And if this doesn't turn out well, then we won't film this. <laughs> we won't show you. <laughs> but let's give it a go anyway. Let's put in some vanilla essence. So about a capful. About that much. And then, uh, how much cocoa do we need, Liz? Quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. So, quarter of a cup of Cocoa. Yeah, mine's a bit more than that. Yeah, that'll be. And I've got a cup of self raising flour, and I'm going to use a cup of plain flour. Just because it's sort of, sometimes when you cook with self raising flour, you have that savoury taste, mm-hmm. you know? And um, so I've got a cup of, a cup of flour, and uh, I'm going to add that in a minute. Oh, so. Camilla just sent through a message saying that her and Elise made a chocolate German cake. Ooh, oh, yum. 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 We should get that recipe. Yeah, we, we should. We haven't done chocolate German cake for a while. So let me mix all this together and then I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So I've added, hang on, let me get this right. Quarter of a cup. I added an egg. Yep. And a quarter of a cup of, cocoa. actually it worked out to be about half a cup, half a cup of cocoa and a cup of self raising flour and half a cup of plain flour okay so I'm going to mix all that up and a little bit of vanilla essence to make it smell good so I'm going to mix all that up and then I'll show you what it looks like in a moment eh okay what did I say that I was going to add oh my gosh I'm useless today um right I've added the self raising flour and I've added the plain flour I also needed to add a cup full of um, milk here so that it then becomes a batter there you go and I'm just going to give it a quick mix, just so that it's got no lumps. Boop. And that'll do. That will do. That's all I did. Did you see how much I mixed? Hardly at all. So, is that my husband in the background looking in the fridge? Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, get out of here. We just had dinner. Seriously. Anyway, here, concentrate on us. <laughs> right. Now, because I'm lazy, because I'm a little bit lazy, Today, not always, just today. No. What'd you say? <laughs> right, I'm going to take the cheats away and I'm going to push it all down there and I'm also going to get a clean cloth. Clean cloth. And give my bowl a wipe around. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. There you go, now we don't need another bowl. So lovely. There you go. Now I'm going to make the topping, which also has loads and loads of flippin' sugar, but we're not going to use quite as much. It says to use a cup full of brown sugar, half a cup of cocoa. 
cupful of, let's do three quarters of a cup. Okay, so let's go from there. What should I do with all my cups and stuff? Okay, uh, no, that's all wet now. You get another cup. Ooh, it's a lot bigger than that cup. That'll do. Okay, right. I'm going to do, this is bigger than a breakfast cup. Yeah, half a cup. I've got no more breakfast cups left. Oh, yeah, happy, honey. We're all good. Soz. <laughs> right, breakfast cup again. And I'm going to fill this up. It says to have a cup full of brown sugar, but we're going to do three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, we're just going to cut that sugar down just a little bit because that's like sugar flipping overload. Okay, now that's a cup, that's three quarters of a cup of sugar, of brown sugar. Okay, and then I'm going to get half a cup of cocoa and I'm going to put it into a bowl and I'm going to mix it around so that it's um, ready to pour on top of the thingamajig. So give me a minute, eh, and I'll be back to you. I've just put it all in a bowl. This is the brown sugar. How much do we use? Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of cocoa. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just going to mix it up so that there's no big lumps as much as possible. And then I'm going to put it over top, just like that. Sprinkle that over top. Then we are going to add two cups of boiling water on top of that and chuck it into the microwave for 12 minutes. We're going to do 10 minutes. We're going to do 10 minutes. Now, some microwaves are way, way more powerful than mine. Mine is one of those dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur, very... I was like, how is she going to explain yeah. that? <laughs> Functional. <laughs> It's a, I'm not even going to show you what it looks like. It's so embarrassing. That's why we have it tucked around the corner over there so that nobody can see it. But it does a trick. I mean, it's lasted for flipping years. I think it's a calvinator or something. Or they're like, do they even make us anymore? No, I don't think they do. Anyway, right. I'm going to chuck this in here, add two cups of, of hot water, and then chuck it into the microwave for 10 minutes. So I'm going to check it probably at five minutes and then check it again in another five minutes after that. Like I said, you've just got to be aware of your microwave. You might want to do it for four minutes and four minutes because it's probably way more powerful than my dinosaur. But mine is functional and it's still working after like 30 years. Like, what the heck? So, um, let me do this. Also, if you haven't got a microwave, chuck it into the, chuck it into the oven. My daughter's doing a poo gun at the background. Um, chuck it into the oven. Uh, usual, you know what, I'm not going to tell you what temperature. You know what temperature, don't you, daughter? 180 fan bake. Thank you. And then just cook it in the oven for probably about 20 minutes. And it, it'll do the trick. It'll do exactly the same thing. But if you're in a hurry, then 10 minutes in the microwave will do the trick. Okay, so um, let me put this in the microwave. I'm going to check it after 10 minutes by stabbing it with a... Uh, a, a sharp knife to make sure that it's not raw in the middle and uh, other than that we'll see you back when it's cooked, eh? This took 12 minutes in my old, ancient, what's classic, what does it say? Classic what? I don't know, Samsung. Classic edition <laughs> <laughs> microwave. Okay, so that took 12 minutes and it, have, come and have a look, it is the ugliest looking dessert that you have ever seen but that's okay because it'll still taste good. To make it look a little bit more palatable, I'm going to do this, hang on, uh, just, I'm going to add just a, oops, yeah. oh, flip, I never do that on, uh, on camera, Ooh, there we go, if you imagine that big blob of icing sugar that I dumped in the middle isn't here, that'd be good, okay, oh, yeah. icing sugar hides all sorts of sins, it really does, so, um, I've also put on, beat up some cream, and just about made it into butter. If it goes like this, like that where it's split, all you have to do is add a little bit more pouring cream and give it a mix up. And hey presto, it's all good again. It's not split anymore. So, note to self Liz, note to self. So, give me a few minutes and I'll plate this up and uh, show you what it looks like, eh? Hey? No fat yogurt. No, it's not. It's full fat cream. Okay, so um, here's our dessert. It is all ready to go. You can serve it up with some fresh fruit or just eat it like that. And it looks pretty good. And let's make sure it tastes good. Otherwise, we won't be posting this. 
Yep, that's doable, they'll do. So, there's our super quick dessert for the day. That would have taken, so it took 12 minutes. Have I got like chopped or in my teeth? Yep, you did. Sorry. <laughs> so, that would have taken 12 minutes to cook, but probably five minutes to mix up, if that. Okay, and that would easily feed five Māoris, six <laughs> Māoris even. Okay, so, and don't forget this is an oven-proof dish, so there's no metal in it, so it's good to go in the, the oven, uh, in the microwave. And I used, I used two cups of hot water from the, from the jug. My suggestion is to use one and a half cups, because then the sauce would be a lot thicker than mine. Mine's a bit runny, for some reason, I don't know why it's a bit runny today. So we'll post up the recipe right at the beginning so that you guys don't have to, like, in, in five weeks' time, somebody say, can you tell me the recipe that you used for your chocolate self sourcing pudding? Because it's different every time I use it. That's the truth. That's the truth. Okay, so anyway, that's it. That's us. Um, have a great week and be kind to each other. Don't forget to save all your stuff for food storage. Um, we're still putting aside $5 a week and getting it together. And in the next week, I know I keep promising this, I keep promising flipping Afghans and what else have I promised <laughs> to make other stuff. So sorry. Um, but I will get my act into gear and we'll show you what our food storage cupboard looks like, eh? Anyway, have a great week. Uh, don't forget, it's Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori, so get your Māori on and uh, we'll see you soon, eh? Ka kite anō.